Hello everyone, this is Zhang Chal. Today I will show you how to set up the Oracle 11GR2 installation on the CentOS 6.4. As you know, the Oracle is the most popular database system in the world. So, in this video, I will show you how to install the based on CentOS 6.4. In this video, there are two parts. Part 1 will focus on the installation, the prerequisite, and there are four steps. And part 2, I will show you the installation, the process, with the three steps. Step 1, installation environment. In my case, I'm using this kind of the installation environment. Host OS is a Windows 7 Home Premium K especially the RAM size 10 GB and the virtual program I'm using the VMware Workstation 9 and guest OS will be the CentOS 6.4 and the Oracle database version 11.2.0 please download this two file from Oracle website before you start installation and the number five the customized hardware on VMware in my case Right now, I'm using 40 gigabyte for the CentOS system, and this one will the name, the device name is DB slash SDA, and I will add one more hard disk for Oracle installation, and the size will be 20 gigabyte, and the device name will be DB slash SDB. Memory size. Right now, just uh, I'm using one gigabyte for CentOS 6.4, but I will include two two gigabyte to support Oracle database. Step two: package installation. Oracle lead the many kinds of the packages. So here, you can see this kind of package. Normally, if you already install the official the CentOS 6.4, maybe almost the package will be supported but some packages in my case for example unix odbc and the pdk sh did not install so in my case i will install these two packages more and during the oracle database installation process maybe you will see the messages to let you install some packages you don't have now so in this case in during the installation process as well you can install some packages step 3 kernel configuration so normally the oracle inter, uh, oracle database need a lot of the configuration first is a kernel so kernel must support oracle installation first biitcctl.com so you have to configure this kind of settings especially related to the process and the port number and the memory size like this after you configure like this you have to use this command cctl-p then this command will read this file again number two biitc pam.login so here we will add i will add this one line to configure some the to limit some the process and the file size especially this one so if we use this pam then this one normally use this file so here we can configure like this so soft hard soft hard soft means the can be the surpass but hard is limited so first the oracle interface the maximum the process number will be like this and open file number like this and uh, step 4 configuration for oracle user oracle normally need their own the username so in my case here i will use username oracle before we create or add the user oracle we have to create the group name like a dba and a dba and all install like this so so in my case i will use this kind of users and uh, this one mkdin slash u01 u01 application so here i will install oracle database so we need uh, this kind of the uh, directory name as well and this uh, directory must be 
uh, owned by the oracle like this and after that vi the in the home directory of oracle user we have to configure this one dot bash on the prop so especially here oracle the host name and the oracle sid in my case now we use orcl the default the sid and the base so i uh, will use this uh, directory and the oracle home as well here like this and the path you have to the add the path especially the oracle home bin so later normally oracle user can the control the oracle database using many kinds of the command especially all commands for oracle will be saved here okay and after that before installation allow users to access x server so before you install the oracle database you have to use this command to access what to allow users especially oracle user to access x server and after that uh, log into oracle like this and the source basic property it mean read this basic uh, under the profile again and the configuration will be implemented or adapted to the oracle users home or oracle user and after that uh, extract the compressed oracle source files first you have to download these two file and after that you can the uh, on uh, compress using this command on chip so here if you start this one as a oracle user then you can start installation during the oracle installation process maybe the message will show to use this kind of script uh, with a root user root like this then maybe you will be successful okay then let's start first here I will show you how to add and the hard disk or more hard disk and uh, uh, memory size as well. So in my case here, I will install Oracle the database first. Now I'm using the memory size one gigabyte and the hard disk forty gigabyte. So here I will add for Oracle the database installation. So first memory size now one gigabyte, but I will increase the two around uh, and two gigabyte like this two gigabyte and the hard disk now i'm using only the 40 gigabyte this one this is the name of the device in linux system dvsda so here i will add one more so we yeah, hard disk so create a new virtual disk and the scarcity and in my case, I will add 20 gigabyte. And the speed, the uh, in my case, the, the store virtual disk is a single file. Next, and the uh, finish. So now I can see one more hard disk. Okay, add. So now the memory size is two gigabyte, and the hard disk 40, and the hard disk second. The second hard disk is a 20 gigabyte. Then now let's start. Okay, now I the reboot the I don't know started the Linux system here. First, I add one more hard disk. So let's check F disk DV SDA. So now SDA has this kind of the partitions SDB. So SDB just uh, in my case here. 21 the gigabyte but i cannot use because this one does not form it yet so let's try to make uh, the partition for oracle okay first f uh, let's format f this let's try to make a file system okay f disk db sd b okay p so now i don't have any the partition so let's try to make a new partition and this one will be p primary and the partition number will be number one and the first cylinder enter last cylinder enter and after that p so now sdb1 and the size around 21 gigabyte okay and after that now and default file system linux okay then w
Okay, then the, you have to use the path to proof. But now, uh, even if you, uh, in my case, I'm using this file system on the virtual machine. So even if I use the path to proof, sometimes this one does not support new hard disk. So now I uh, create the uh, new partition. So let's check. SDB. So now I have SDB1. So then let's create the file system. So now in my case, I will use ext4 SDB1. So now making the file system here. Okay, then I'm successful. Then I will use U01. And after that, bound db stb1 u01. Okay, then let's check the file system. So now db stb1 is a u01. And after that, let's check the file system size. So here, stb1 is around the 20 gigabyte. So here, I will install Oracle. And if you want to use this new partition permanently, then you have to register this information to this file, etc. FS tab. So in my case, for example, okay, DV stb1, and this one will be U01, the partition uh, file system name, and uh, file system ext4 default. And the number will be 1 and 2. So 1 means the save this partition to hard disk, and the 2 means the file system checking number, like uh, the other partition, for example, like uh, home, like this. Okay. So now let's try to make a partition user. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, I'm already using this one. Okay, then let's check the second. I'm ready to use the new partition for the Oracle installation. So now let's check the package. In my case, especially. Okay, now let's install. Yes. Okay, I'm a complete. And after that, let's begin the kernel configuration first. It is C, sys, ctl, conf. So for the kernel configuration, I already configured like this. So kernel here and the other setting as well. Okay, then after you configure this file, don't forget to use sys ctl uh, sorry sys ctl hyphen p okay then this command will read this file again okay and the second fam etc pam.d login so here you have to add this line session require pam underbar limits dot so Okay, and after that, it is the security and the limit. So in my case, I already configured like this. So in my case, the line number 51, 52, 53, 54. So soft means it can be this oracle can the surprise the process number this one, but uh, this one, the 16,384 will be the maximum. And uh, this one, open file as well, this one can be the surpassed, but this one, 6,536, uh, this one will be the maximum, the number of the open file for Oracle. Oracle. Okay, then now we, I'm ready to use the kernel. Now let's try to use the, let's try to configure the Oracle user first. Group add DBA and the group add O install. Now let's try to create the user GO DBA and Oracle. Uh, sorry, this one DBA and username Oracle. 
and the password oracle okay now I create and after that uh, let's go here mkdir application directory so now let's change the ownership oracle dba and uh, u01 slash okay now let's try to the login and the one more thing in my case uh, home so here i already copy this file for oracle user for let then read the passive profit here so host name and the, this is the the path for oracle home like this okay and after that let's move bash profit to oracle ah sorry zip uh, no mv bash here oracle like this okay and after that Okay, yes, cat, bassy, profit. So now I can see this kind of information. Okay, so the bassy profit here must be the ownership will be the Oracle. Okay, so now Oracle that bassy profit. Okay, so now the best profit ownership change like this. Okay, then the login. Okay, so now the Oracle, the ready to the install the Oracle database. But before, we have to the extract Oracle the database. So let's var ftp pop. In my case, here I'm staying here. So first on chip. Let's uh, extract. Okay, and the second file as well on zip Linux 2. Okay, so now I uh, extracted the database file. So here we have to use the this file. So before we start, so here exhaust plus then the all users can be accessed to access server and after that oracle and uh, pop oracle database so here let's start run okay now we can see this kind of information in the second video i will show you all the process to install oracle interface see you next video